Flowers you can eat. Flowers are loved by one and all. They serve various purposes. You can decorate them, gift them and also eat them. Yes, it is true that flowers are not just meant for sniffing or marveling at. A lot of pretty looking flowers can be totally eaten. Nothing says, gourmet, like a sprinkling of colorful flower petals in a salad, or a tiny bouquet of Johnny Jump Ups on a birthday cake. Edible flowers are a fun and easy way to add color and flavor to all sorts of dishes, especially when you can pick them right from your own garden. Most edible flowers are best eaten raw, simply pick and rinse with water. Flowers will taste and look their best right after they have opened, rather than after they have been open for a few days. Flower Prepping Tips When cooking with or serving edible flowers, clean them by washing them gently in a large bowl of cold water and letting them air dry on a paper towel. Use them immediately or store them in the refrigerator for up to a week in an airtight container lined with a damp paper towel. Pickled chive blossoms can be added to martinis, Bloody Marys and bagels, with lox and cream cheese. There are only two important things to remember about edible flowers. First is that not every flower is edible. In fact, some flowers can be poisonous. So, stick with flowers on the list below, or do sufficient research to ensure your safety. The second caution is to avoid flowers that may have been sprayed with an insecticide, fungicide or herbicide. Because most edible flowers, except for roses, are easy to grow, this is rarely a problem. Be sure to take dandelions off the list unless you have an organic lawn. Now, before you just venture out to your garden to pick some blooms to include in your dinner, take a look at the list of these most commonly found edible flowers that are just delicious. For flowers that look good as well as taste good, consider some of the following. Hibiscus. Hibiscus flower can be used as flavorings in various foods in various ways. Around the world, this flower is eaten post-cooking, sometimes raw, as a spice or even as a food dye. At some places the tenderest leaves of this flower are also put in raw salads to be eaten while at the other places the stalks of hibiscus are added to soups for a nice flavor. Alliums. Chives, leeks and garlic are all delicious in green salads, potato and pasta salads and dips. Remove the central stem from the flower cluster to release the separate florets. Lilac. Lilacs not just smell amazing but these flowers also have an overwhelming taste. Best used as a garnish, you can try mixing them with a frozen yogurt for a lip-smacking treat or you can simply prepare a lilac cold water infusion. Scattering a few lilacs on fresh green salads can be a delicious idea too. A flower or two of this bloom, when added to a summer punch, may taste quite refreshing too. Zucchini Blossoms the bright yellow flowers of the zucchini plant have a delicate and slightly sweet taste. Enjoy them the classic way stuffed with herbs and goat cheese, or on a pizza, which features fresh pesto, a summertime favorite. Nasturtiums. Blossoms have a peppery flavor like watercress. All colors and varieties are tasty in salads or as garnishes. Leaves can be eaten, too. These gorgeous flowers have a slightly peppery taste, almost like watercress, which makes them perfect for summer rice paper rolls. You can also stuff a whole flower with a savory mousse or enjoy nasturtium flowers with beef carpaccio. Violets. You can eat both the leaves and flowers of violets. While the flavor of the leaves may be mild to bland, the flowers taste sweet. You can eat them post adding them to your salads, boil and mix them with porridge, crystallize them in candies, make jellies from them, add them to vinegar for color and fragrance or ferment them to produce sweet wine. Violets have great medicinal uses too. These flowers are quite detoxifying and can help your liver to clear waste products from your blood. Marigolds. Use the tiny flowers of signet marigolds, such as lemon gem and tangerine gem. Their blossoms have a citrus taste. Take your drinks to the next level. Freeze edible Johnny Jump Up flowers in an ice cube tray and add to your favorite beverage. Pansies and Johnny Jump UPS. These flowers have a wintergreen flavor and are pretty on cakes and other desserts. Pansies have a slightly grassy, even minty, flavor, so they work well in herb-flavored summer cocktails and fruit salads. Lavender. This flower with a sweet floral flavor, with a faintly citrus hint, can be a great addition to both sweet and savory dishes. Put them in a glass of champagne, over a chocolate cake or as a garnish for ice creams and these flowers will lend a mysterious scent and a lingering taste to all of these. Calendula. 
An easy and prolific edible flower that's easy to grow from seed right in the garden. Separate the petals from the center of the flower and sprinkle the petals into salads. Colors range from pure yellow to orange and red. Remove spent flowers and the plants will bloom continuously from early summer into late fall. Rose. All the varieties of roses are edible. Just remove the bitter white base and the strongly perfumed petals can render a perfect flavor to anything from desserts to drinks. You can eat rose petals raw in salads, in creamy sauces or after cooking in soups. Anise hyssop. If you like anise, this is the edible flower for you. Separate the florets and add them to sweet or savory dishes. Or use the full flowers to garnish a cheese plate. Sage flowers. With their soft, yet sweet savory flavor and beautiful color, sage flowers add dimension to a variety of dishes. For summer, pair them with lemon and other garden treats in a popsicle for a surprisingly refreshing treat. Carnation. Carnations have a peppery, spicy flavor like a clove. You can toss its petals in freshly chopped salad or create a pickle with them. Carnations can also be candied, added to desserts such as fruitcakes, steeped into wine to add a spicy flair or simply eaten plain. Honeysuckle. As the name suggests, these flowers have a sweet, honey-like flavor. While the long flower tubes of honeysuckle are totally edible, just be careful enough to not eat the berries or any other part of the plant as it is all extremely poisonous. This flower can be a delicious addition to salads as well as desserts. Borage. This fuzzy leaved herb has sky blue flowers with a light cucumber taste. Add to fruit salads, green salads or freeze in ice cubes for cold drinks. Bee balm. This member of the mint family has minty tasting flowers. Colors range from bright red to purple and pink. Chamomile. English chamomile has small, daisy-like flowers with an apple-like flavor. If you're allergic to ragweed, you might want to avoid chamomile. Daylily. Daylily buds and flowers taste a bit like asparagus. They can be used as a garnish, or can be stuffed or made into fritters. Good in stir-fries, too. Mint. Like bee balm, all flowers of the mint family are edible and have a pleasant taste. Try lemon balm or spearmint in iced tea. Squash blossoms. With a mild squashy flavor, squash blossoms are delicious edible flowers. Just remove the stamens of these flowers and you can cook them or eat them raw. Also, you can batter fry them with savory items like goat cheese or herbs, bake them or cook them in soups, burritos etc. Isn't it interesting to know how flowers can add color to a raw salad or texture to a cooked meal? However, you must make sure that your edible flowers are grown organically minus any pesticides or chemicals. Also, do not forget to remove anthers, stems and pistils of the flowers before consuming them as they may be bitter. When in doubt about any edible flower, just taste it but only after making sure that it is not poisonous. Thank you for watching. For more interesting videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.